Now using the crib template, I'm going to make this into a card. You've got two options. This is the first one. Uh, just print out the size that you want. You notice you've got a little dotted line down here. This is where it's going to fold. Now I've cut this one out and stuck it down onto this piece of card. This piece of card is simply a large piece of card like that, folded in half. And when you folded it in half, I just stuck this down on the front and I've put where the crease is in the card there, that dotted line so it knows exactly where this is going to fold. Now, you've got a few options here with this one. I want to possibly just not cut this section out so it folds. I'll just give you an example here. There's an example of what you're going to do. There you go, you use that. Now you can cut that section out. You can use the other template with that, I'll show you in a second. But I've just, before I did cutting it out here, I just went along here like this with the embossing tool and it just created an indentation in the card so it gave the illusion of it being a full crib, cradle, uh, and be, before you cut those out. So when you open it up, you can see that you've not got the big gap there, but you've actually got an indentation there showing you where the outline of the crib is. Now you can also now cut right the way through both pieces of card so you get a full open crib and you've got the uh, bits cut out at the same time. Or what I've done with that card, open this up and then you just cut out all these center bits first cut all these out I'm not going to do all of them just showing you quickly just cut them out or use do it freehand or use a ruler on the straight bits you just cut through like so you can see how I'm cutting that out once all those are cut out so that would be like that section there all those bits are cut out then where it's folded just fold it back and then taking a pair of scissors, you can then cut a whole of the card out. Cut around the whole of the outside and then you end up with that. So you've got that opened up like that and that will stand up. Now to make it stand up perfectly, you might want to just trim a little line off the bottom so that when it stands, it stands perfectly. You can decorate that any way you want. Be quite nice with the baby's face on the front there. Now the alternative to this template is this one. And you can probably see here, I've put an extra line down here. And that's where you cut through. So you do exactly what you did with this one. But you're going to cut this section out too. So that when your card is finished, you get more of a full crib effect but you've still got, got it hinged there and it stands up just like that so you've got two options you've got two different templates there to help you create those lovely cards